and we thank you for the company. I am Cristian Bosso. Unfortunately, Max Bretos will not be with us today. He's uh, due next week. He should be uh, Palsita al Sol right down in Miami by now. Marcelo Salas and Marcelo Gallardo, we will do our very best to make it very enjoyable for you. The beautiful game and the players will have to do their part. Great atmosphere in the stadium. Nice to see El Muñeco back. One of the greatest uh, plate makers of the last decade in football argentino. And of course, El Matador, a Chileno, Marcelo Salas, Melinao. Estadio Monumental in the neighborhood of Núñez. Capacity almost 80,000 people. This is where Argentina with Marito Kempes, with Constanzo, Tula, Tuzio, Vivas, and Villescas. In the midfield, Pereira, Barrado, Zapata, and Rolfi Montenegro. Up front, Usain and Fernando Cabenaggi, who's not only on the pitch, and has Salas and Gallardo on the bench, but he's also the captain of River Plate. The visitors, Los Leprosos, Palos, under Los Tres Palos, of course. Bermudez coming back to Estadio Monumental, Ex Boca. Rey, Adinolfi and Ruiz. In the midfield, Rosada, Guiñazú, Patiño, Kuki Silvani, Rosales, and number 11, Vasquez, the 11 that Hector Bambino Gueira decided to send to the pitch. We will take a break. Coming up, we have River Plate, Los Millonarios, playing Mules, Los Leprosos, and Fox Sports. The name of the stadium, Antonio Liberti, better known as Estadio Monumental. Gabriel Favale, a very young and respected referee, will be the man in the middle, and here we go to enjoy nine minutes of the beautiful game. I am Cristian Bosso. Thank you so much for the company. River Plate Newells. All boys. Tuzio. On the bench of River Plate, El Muñeco Gallardo and Marcelo Salas must be the most expensive bench not only in the country, in the whole continent. That's a privilege only a few could have, like River Plate. I'm sure they will play in the second half. Cabinagi with the ball. Zapata. On the left. Bermudez, El Patron, ex Boca. He loves to come back and play here at Estadio Monumental against the River Plate, Boca's arch rivals. The feeling, the sensations are the same. But not the atmosphere. Ruiz with the throw in. That would be the other central defender, Tula, number 26. Nelson Vivas also back in Argentina to play with River Plate, briefly with Arsenal, and also in Spain, wanting to get back into the national team with Marcelo Bielsa to play Chile next month. A good throw in. Cabenagi to the rescue. We have the first foul of the game. Number 10 is brought down. Guiñazú ex Independiente. As soon as we have a minute, I'll give you the rest of the bench of River Plate and, of course, the visitors. Number 7, Rosales, to take the free kick. Inside the box. A good header by Kuki Silvani. You can see Franco Constanzo, the goalkeeper, well positioned right there, just in case.
River Plate's bench looks Macherano, Ludueña. 31, Gallardo, Marcelo, El Muñeco. And number 11, Marcelo Salas. Ping Pong. Silvani. Constanzo. On the bench for Newells. Purnich, Domínguez, Villar, Kemet, and Rosales. Adinolfi. The long ball intended for Vasquez. Not much from Manuel Pellegrini. Let's uh, remember that River Plate begun the season. The last uh, clausura, not in a very good way. Hussein Barrado. That looked like a foul. Not called by the ref. River with the ball. Vivas. Hussein. The throwing for River Plate. That was a good ball by Barrado on the right. Number 18 playing for Chacho Caudet, the right side of the midfield. River played with Salas and Gallardo back, now being regarded as the Real Madrid of South America. At the scores, Atletico Rafaela, a good win on the road. 1-0 over Olimpo from Bahia Blanca. Adinolfi. Guiñazú. The give and go, one, two. Another foul in the midfield. We already saw Manuel Pellegrini. It would be nice to take a look at El Bambino Vieira. Vieira. Darío! Darío! Nice move by Guiñazú. He wanted the foul. Not called. Throwing for River Plate. Usain. That voice you hear from the sidelines is uh, Manuel Pellegrini. River Plate gaffer. As they call him in England. Rosada. Trying to get something going in the midfield. Rosada used to play for Boca, in case you don't know or you don't remember. Pablo Guiñazú. Adinolfi. Eduardo Tutu with the header. Julian Vázquez. Guiñazú. Adinolfi. Back to Guiñazú. Silvani Rosales not able to control the ball much more work for Constanzo than Palos the other goalkeeper Kamenagi with the header Adinolfi Re Bermudez looking like a central defender The same for Tuzio there with the pass. A throw in for Newell. Seven minutes into the half. Nice to see the crowd. Those are Newell's fans. Los Leprosos. Vivas. Bustos. River keeping possession of the ball. Fernando Cabenagui. Bermudez. Ruiz. The long ball looking for Vasquez. Virviescas. It's been difficult for Manuel Pellegrini to find a left sided fullback. Lecky used to play there. Zapata. 
did get a couple of matches. Virviescas is the now left fullback of River Plate. Always a very difficult position to fill. Tula, Vivas. Used to play on the left side for Arsenal in the EPL, the Premiership. Hussein on the right side, getting something going for River. The first corner kick of the game. Kabinagi is good up in the air, of course. So you have Tula and Tuzio, both central defenders, Pereira. Rolfi Montenegro from the right. Tuzio. Kabinagi on the right, they get the second consecutive corner. Once again, Rolfi Montenegro. Silvani on Tuzio. Another cross, Montenegro. Looking for Victor Zapata. Now the ball's on the left. One on one, Zapata the winner. The cross. A great effort by the defender Tula. A great run by Zapata on the left. A good cross to the far post. Inside of the left foot. Palomita diving, trying to connect with the ball. That was the best chance so far of the game. Ping pong again. Handball. Vivas. Looking for Thierry Henry, couldn't find them. Has to remember that he's back with the River Plate. We have great memories of uh, Nelson Vivas and uh, other Argentinian players in the EPL. Verón today played uh, the first game for Chelsea. They defeated Liverpool on the road at Anfield. Verón played a great game. River with the ball. Cabinagi. That was Dario Busain. Cabinagi was uh, waiting for the ball. River dominating the proceedings. When you look back uh, to the first round, uh, they got the victory, but didn't look that good. River played. Look to the second round, they looked very lost and not motivated, and they lost to Independiente soundly 3 0. And one can never know with the new old boys uh, what's going to happen or what they're going to do, what kind of performance they are going to pull off. They are a very complicated team on the road, very difficult team to play. Ginyasu on the left. Adinolfi, that's going to be a cross. Wow. A great throw in. <laughs> the ball in the penalty spot. Better than a cross. But Mudic in the back. The backbone of Newell's defense, not very good with the ball at his feet. The Colombian won everything with uh, Boca Juniors. 
Vivas. That's the goalkeeper Palos. Cabenagui. Montenegro. Guiñazú taking the ball away from Montenegro. Very active number 10. Silvani. Zapata now. Montenegro and Guiñazú used to be teammates when Independiente won the championship. Now they are playing against each other. Rosales with the ball in the midfield. Tuccio. Constanzo. Oof. Adinolfi. Barrado doing a very good work on the right side, defending. El Bambino Beira. Pereira. Barrado and Montenegro. El Rolfi accelerating in the midfield. We should have the first booking of the game. Yes, a quarter of an hour. It is nil-nil. I believe it goes to number 16, Re. Oof. Fernando Cabenagui. Patiño now in the midfield. Rosales looking for Vasquez. Good timing by Tula. Number 16, Germán Rey, the first uh, yellow card of the match. Not healthy to have one of the defenders with the booking so early in the game. You know, they need the freedom to get tight, close to the forwards. You know, a couple of kicks here and there. Hussain on the left now, rotating offensively. Absolutely nothing going on in front of the goalkeepers. Jorge Hernán Bermúdez. Patiño. Jairo Patiño. Tutsio taking the ball away. The free kick for River Plate and not the best uh, of games so far. And good atmosphere in the stadium. It is nil-nil. From Colombia, Jairo Patiño. Rosales. Rosada. Ruiz, Zapata, right on number 19, Ruiz, he loses the ball, they get the throw in, Tuccio with uh, the tackle, they should have Salas and Gallardo already warming up, if they keep playing this way, Adinolfi on the left, Neither team able to put three passes together. Hussain, Cabenagui. Since Chacho Caudes not playing, Cabenagui is the new captain. Nice switch, Zapata down the left, another cross. Bermudez. Right on time. Virviescas. Hussain, 
With Vieskas, just crossing the midfield, back to Tuccio. Bermudez. Jairo Patiño, the only one trying to play some soccer in the midfield. Patiño, el viejo Patiño. Silvani. Rosales. Adinolfi. Miñazú. Vasquez, uh, Pablo Guiñazú once again. That looks like a foul. One of the legends of football Argentino played and coached abroad, El Bambino Veira. Mexico, Chile, one of the uh, El Bambino's destinations. He was looking for the header. Surprisingly, he got the ball, not able to connect the Bermudez, practically with the knee. So many players inside the box, and Constanzo lucky this time. Doesn't even have to move to make the save. Adinolfi. Guiñazú. Vasquez, nice move. Guiñazú. That's the way you want to see them play. It's close to the 18-yard box, looking for one another. River Plate now with the ball. Vilviescas. Usain. No foul. Vilviescas. Nice idea outside of the left foot. Patiño. Rosales now in the midfield. A great ball. Nice. Number seven with the counter attack. Rosales. Vasquez. Oh. No. Come on. Two against three. The forwards are mainly concerned about the ball, not to commit the foul. Mr. Favalli. If you're going to give the benefit of the doubt, think of the people who are creating soccer, not the other way around. Rosada. The best of the midfielders so far. Very active, Rosada. Ruiz. Rosales back to Ruiz. Mules looking pretty good. Nice idea, but not a good execution. Barrados winning the ball in the midfield. Cabenagui, Rolfi Montenegro, Nelson Vivas, Montenegro, Barrados, Cabenagui, Husain, La Furia with a great chance, Cabenagui rescuing the ball inside the box, Zapata, that goalkeeper was so lost. Great run by Hussein. Zapata always involved offensively. Another not so good, but something going on for River offensively. So smart Kavinagi with the pass, looking for Hussein. The cut, but he trips, not able to even get up. Then Kavinagi, Zapata. And nothing happens now. Newells with the chance. Constanzo. Well, the game improving little by little. Now we have a chance on chances on both ends. Nice to see the goalkeepers getting involved. Palos and Constanzo. Vivas, Silvani on Vivas. Pereira. Virviescas. 
Zapata on the left. Virviescas. Pereira. Rolfi Pereira. He loses the ball in the midfield. Rosada. Foul. And the second booking of the game. Between the legs, he doesn't even move, the defender has no choice. I don't think he did get the booking, though. Guinasu with a good chance, he's a, a good free kick taker. A little bit too far, I would say. River Plate defending with 11 players. The cross that was looking intended for Bermudez. Nothing happening there. They wasted a good free kick. Tuccio now. Tula. Virviescas back to Tula. Those two are compadres, huh? They only play with one another in the back. Virviescas, Fusain, Zapata. Fusain, no foul. Silvani, not much from El Cookie Silvani. Vasquez, Adinolfi, Iñazú. Inolfi. Rosada. But would someone have the guts to penetrate in Newells? Seem to be afraid of uh, the defenders. Jairo Patiño. Rosales. A good quick at number seven, a good player. Rosales with the pass, looking for Vasquez. Tuccio, Zapata, Tula. Nelson Vivas. Jairo Patiño. Nice, that's a foul, and if we didn't have the booking before, that is worth a yellow card. Exactly. I think he let the ball go between his legs and uh, he's trying to turn it around. Nelson Vivas. Oof. Not able to put the brakes on. He gets out uh, the first book in for uh, a River Plate player. Second of the game, the other one is the uh, Germán Re, Newell's central defender. This is Guiñazú. Chilena by Rosada. Silvani. Re. Re para Rosales. Just like Chelsea in the Premiership, River Plate with the addition of those great players in Marcelo Gallardo and Marcelo Salas. It should take them a couple of months before they start working well together. To get to know each other, to gel as a team. We are rapidly approaching the first half hour. Please, we want goals or something happening here. Barrados on the right. Barrados, nice move. 
Corner kick number three for Los Millonarios, or Los Gallinas. River Plate. Should be El Rolfi Montenegro once again to take it from the right side. Take a look at the fans in the back. All those banners. River, no offside. Tuccio, nice move. The cross. El Patron Bermudez. That's why they call him El Patron. Zapata with the throw in. Cabinagi. Not much from number nine in the first half. He gets a corner kick number four. Let's see if they get something going. Pereira also looking for the header. And he gets it. A defensive a midfielder. He scores between four to five goals per season. Very good up in the air, attacking the ball. He gets the header. Way over the crossbar. Only 23 years of age, Guillermo Pereira. Patiño loses the ball in the midfield. Virviescas. Zapata. El Rolfi Montenegro. Tula, Virviescas. Zapata and Rich on the ground asking for attention. He seemed uh, to be in a lot of pain. Cabenagui, the one, two, no, no foul, no. El Patron Bermudez winning the ball. I am pretty sure a lot of the people complaining because it is Bermudez. You know that love-hate relationship they have with Boca, ex-Boca players. Adinolfi, Guiñazú, Tula, great timing once again by the defender, Christian Tula. with the throw in Rosales Guiñazú Guiñazú nice Silvani Adinolfi Silvani now chesting the ball down it is Rosales number seven nice Patiño Mauro Rosales Virviesca is not able to control number seven. Zapata coming to help out. He gets uh, the ball away from number seven. The throw in for Los Millonarios of River Plate. Help, please. From number seven. Good work by Guiñazú in the midfield. There he goes. Left footed player, Silvani. Unfortunately, we couldn't say the same about Silvani in the first half. Come on, Kuki. Silvani. Usain. Bermudez. Nothing and nobody goes past Bermudez. 
two players on the ground both are from news without a doubt one of the best and most active players in the calf number 10 Pablo Guignasu something wrong with uh, Cookies in Manish foot Vasquez fighting for the ball Dula Patiño Rosada Another free kick, not very close to the box, but hopefully they could get... Never mind. Okay, good, thank you. Muñequito Gallardo, go out there, play some soccer. Get everybody involved. Ginyasu, Vasquez, nice move, Vasquez, goal, goal, Ooh. It took Newell's 35 minutes to take a shot on goal, and how close that was to end up in the back of the net. Without a doubt, the best chance created by the visitors in the half Oof. the idea would be to take the same shot with the inside of the foot not much work for Palos and Constanzo that's a new goalkeeper What a feeling, huh? <laughs> Jairo Patiño taking the long range. The camera goes back to Palos. Because River gets nothing going offensively. That's the only chance where you get to see the goalkeeper. El Cookie Silvani and Jairo Patiño. Tutio Zapata. Rosada taking the ball away. Guiñazú. No foul. Zapata. Once again, number 19, Ruiz on the right. Newells surprisingly now keeping possession of the ball. Nice switch. Adinolfi. The cross. Constanzo. I believe they made a, a call, a foul. Either that or an offside. Nine minutes left from the end of the half. Che Bambino, what do we do? Kemet and Rosales are on the bench. Of Newells, of course. Silas and Gallardo on the bench of River Plate. This is Dario Hussain. Who might be one of the options to be substituted. Rosales. Guiñasu. Ruiz. Jairo Patiño. Back to now. He gives the ball away. He doesn't even lose the ball. He gives it away. Cabenagui now. Zapata Pereira Montenegro Cabenagui Ibas Barrado Cabenagui It was Rolfi Montenegro, nice one quick touch 
inside the box, once again el patrón. Coming up the winner, el patrón Bermúdez. Always playing well against a River Plate. There he goes again, Bermúdez looking for Kuki Silvani. Took you back to Constanzo. Dale Darío, dale Darío. Pereira in the midfield. Prepara bien. No te apures de final, Darío. Darío, no te apures de final, acá. Darío, no te apures de final, acá. I believe Guillermo Pereira is also having some problems. River Plate a midfielder. That's uh, the information we get from uh, Benedetto sometimes on site, Football Argentino. Rosales making the run. Tula. Virviescas. Rolfi Montenegro not playing well. This is Kuki Silvani. Guiñazú. The cross. Kuki. Vasquez. He gets the ball. Vasquez. Silvani coming from behind. Constanzo making the save. It wasn't a very powerful shot by number nine. But it has been a news creating the chances to score, the best chances to score in the last five minutes of the game. Rosales loses the ball in the midfield. Montenegro, Zapata, Cabenagui. Usain in the sidelines with some problems. Maybe he knows he uh, he will be substituted, so... I believe Marcelo Salas already uh, warming up to replace uh, Usain. There he is, the Chileno. Number 11 from Temuco to Universidad de Chile to River Plate. The glory days of El Matador. Extra laps after the first half for Ruiz around the field for that pass. Rosales, Vasquez, Nils with the goal, Nils with the goal. From Colombia con amor. Happy Bambino Veira after the goal by Julian Vasquez. The Colombian who had a great Copa America last year. Copa Libertadores. Rosales is the one making the run from the right side. He gets the cross, only one touch. There he is, hits up. Hits up twice and great finish. Great finish by Vasquez between two defenders. One, two. Constanzo reacts. Good reflexes uh, by the keeper, but nothing, absolutely nothing he could do to stop that ball. Isn't that nice? More pressure for Salazar. 
Gallardo, ¿no? For the first minute of the first half, Newell's surprisingly taking the advantage. Virviescas. Pereira. Tuxio. Adinolfi Vázquez Guiñazú Adinolfi Pereira Fernando Cabinagui Nelson Vivas Absolutely nothing from Vivas, offensively speaking, in the half. Now, the cross, not. Hussain. The other Hussain brother, Ameli. Fifty thousand fans that came to see River Plate, but did not come to see River Plate lose their second consecutive game. They lost to Estudiantes 3-0 last week. Montenegro, Barrado. Cabinagi. Zapata. Pereira. And Nelson Vivas. Ooh. This is what you don't want to do in stoppage time. You don't want to commit any fouls. Nowhere near the inside box. Adinolfi not able to control Barrado and River Plate. Getting a very good opportunity to get the equalizer, maybe. With Viescas to take the free kick. It's going to be two minutes of added on time. With Viescas. He is no Roberto Carlos. The first half is over. The man in the middle blows out uh, the final whistle from Estadio Monumental with the goal by Vasquez in minute 42. Niels winning 1-0 over River Plate. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more from Football Argentina. Ever wondered what it's really like to be a soldier? What do you got? I have a sip rep from Alpha Company. Team, ready to be verified. Verified. Game only today in the first half between River and Newells. I am Cristian Bosso. Football Argentino round number three. There should be 22 players back on the pitch. Plus the ref. And here we go, River from left to right. Is that El Muñeco Gallardo? As soon as I have the confirmation of the information of the substitutions. Zapata. Zapata is brought down. Free kick, River Plate, and uh, number 31, yes. Marcelo El Muñeco Gallardo and Marcelo El Matador Salas came on as substitutes uh, Rolfi Montenegro out and the other one I believe would be number 20 Darío Hussain Palos it's going to be a very difficult uh, difficult and different uh, second half El Muñeco 
such a great tradition by River Plate uh, to produce plate makers. And so Francesco Di Alonso before Francesco Di Madrid by Mar lately. El Muñeco Gallardo. They talk about the days of uh, La Máquina with La Bruna. I wasn't around, they say they were uh, brilliant and wonderful. Pedernera and all those uh, big names of football argentino. Now it is Pablo Guinassu. He gets the ball back, he also gets the call. Marcelo El Muñeco Gallardo. Fernando Cavenaghi, all those with a tendency to treat the ball well. Vivas, Cavenaghi, no foul. Rosado. Sabata. The assistant, huh? decided that that ball was out of play after the insistence of the Newell's defender, Bruish. Rosales, good ball. It is uh, confirmed. Marcelo Salas and Marcelo Gallardo replaced Darío Hussain and Rolfi Montenegro, respectively. Gallardo, nice switch, looking for Zapata. Patiño. River keeping possession of the ball, Zapata. El Muñeco, Gallardo. much of a foul from here he is though trying to protect the ball yeah you see the defender going right at El Muñeco's body of the left leg bringing the Muñeca down another good chance for River Plate putting some pressure at the beginning of the second half to get the equalizer Palos located in the second palo, far post. Virvieskas, Cavenaghi in front of the ball, Gallardo. <laughs> Reminded me of that Brazilian uh, midfielder, Kaka. The cross! That must have been Jorge Bermudez once again coming to the rescue with the defensive header. Cabinagi, Zapata, River. Adinolfi. Adinolfi clearing the danger away. Newells with the counter attack. Guignasu. Vasquez. Virviescas. Great work by the left sided fullback on the right side. Nice ball, El Mato. Ooh, side of side. That's what you want to see El Matador and El Muñeco working together with one another. That was a good call. Vasquez. Vasquez back, trying to score his second goal of the night. Good player, the Colombian. No foul, Marcelo Salas on the ground. Patiño to Rosada. Ruiz. Back to Rosada. Bermudez. Something happened at the Bermudez yet. 
it was Gallardo who challenged Bermudez for the ball. Oof. Now you know how it feels. He's done it so many times to so many players. A very rough and tough central defender, the Colombian Bermudez. Guiñasu, nice pass. Vivas. That should be a booking, and Vivas is the only player from River Plate to already have a yellow card. That should be a yellow card, and Nelson Vivas, I believe, according to the rules, should be ejected. Mr. Gabriel Favale. Giving Vivas another chance. He only makes the call, free kick for Niels. Iñazú. Zapata. Patiño. Salas. Silvani, that's a foul, no call. Rosales, News looking better than River played again in the second half. Pereira, Barrado, and Zapata. He crosses the midfield. El Muñeco Gallardo, nice. Nice pass, Virviescas. Cabenagui and Salas waiting inside the box. No foul, no. Good call by Mr. Favale. The ball belongs to the visitors. Operator calling Lan Chile Airlines. The passenger, Manuel Pellegrini, if he loses another game. Could be on his way back. Same pressure he was under in the last uh, clausura. They ended up winning the title. So you have to have some patience. And have to wait for the new players to adapt. To get to know the system, to get to know the other players for the other players to get to know them. Ruiz with the throw-in. Another one for News. Number 19, Ruiz. Straight to the goalie. The long ball by Franco Constanzo Salas fighting for it in the midfield. El Muñeco, nice. Zapata on the left. Cabenagui. Barrado. El Muñeco. idea looking for Marcelo Salas on the left now El Matador he's the one that hasn't been able to get something going Virviescas since he came on in the second half Gallardo getting a couple good touches Nelson Vivas who should have been ejected offside 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 Para el italiano, está loco. Oh. Is it that hard to believe that you could be offside sometimes? In the second half, Colón of Santa Fe, 4-1 over Talleres, Atletico Rafaela on the road, 1-0 over Olimpo. 
Arsenal and Nueva Chicago 1-1. Kilmish, not the beer, and Estudiantes 0-0. Viescas. El muñeco. Tripping on the ball. Tuccio. Viescas. Iñasuan Vázquez, Adinolfi, back to Pablito Guiñasu, Silvani, Rosales, Guiñasu, Patiño, the way they are playing, we're going to have to call them Mules Plate and River All Boys. Neils United looking much better than River in the second half. Patiño, Golazo, 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 Golazo. Golazo, the Colombian score in the second of the night for Neils. Neils United. Woo. The second goal doesn't make El Bambino Veira happy either, but that's okay. This is the man that should be worried about this. Mules on the road at Estadio Monumental, doubling their advantage 2 0 over River Plate. From a throw in, another one. Nobody touched the ball before Patino took that beautiful long range shot from a throw in. They scored a goal, and that shouldn't happen. That should never happen. Colin and Angela Airlines like to book a flight for Manuel Pellegrini. No, just joking. Plenty of time left for a River Plate to get uh, something going and turn the game around. At least get the equalizer, if they can, to equalize the game. They need two goals. Patiño, Rosada. The all is right now. Ole. Ole, Ole. Cavinaghi taking the ball away from number five. Guiñasú. El matador. Cabenagui. Jorge Bermúdez. I believe River Plate getting substitution number three ready. It is uh, Daniel Ludueña. If Salas and Gallardo are not able to fix the situation, I don't see the Ludueña. He's going to have to be the savior. Rosales. Number seven, unstoppable on the right side. Great work. We tell you about the rivalries in football argentino. Mule's uh, main rival is Rosario Central. That's why they're singing about and chanting, making fun of Rosario. 
not only happy about defeating River Plate at home, but they also have to, of course, mock their arch rivals in Rosario Central. A good cross. Cabinagi. Virviescas, Cabinagi. Cabinagi. Muñeco. He looks French, doesn't he? With the new look. Cabinagi is so good at doing this. The cut going down to the inside and then keeping the ball at ground level, trying to take the shot on goal. El Muñeco, oh, that was close, that was good. Salas getting out of the way. If they do get a goal soon, then they do have plenty of time to turn the game around. Not only they are down to nil in the squad, they should be down uh, one player down if Gabriel Favale had shown the second booking to Nelson Vivas, which he greatly deserved. Foul, slap in the face to Monsieur Gallardo. Ludueña. Muñeco. He has been pretty active since he came on in the second half. To Muñeco Gallardo trying to carry the team on his shoulders to be the, the creator, the force in the midfield. It's difficult uh, to generate, to create soccer if you don't have anybody to, to play with in the midfield. Virviescas. Cabenagui. Zapata. Back to Pereira. Ludueña Pereira. Silvani Ros Vivas now Gallardo Already made the three substitutions. Manuel Pellegrini Cabenagui with a good shot on goal. Not much from the 19-year-old forward, the captain now of River Plate. Manuel Pellegrini. In his day, he used to play as a central defender for Universidad de Chile, 15 years. The only club he played for. He was only called once to the national team to play a friendly against Brazil in the mid-80s. Another foul in the midfield, Guinassu once again brought down. We keep waiting for the River Plate of Real Madrid of South America.
Go get a kill miss. Pereira. Ludueña, number 22, Salas. Looking for Vivas, they do get the corner kick. They were defending with 11 in the first half. Now they have to attack with the same 11 or maybe 10 and now without Franco Constanzo. El Muñeco Gallardo. Tuzio chasing the ball. Zapata, Cabenagui. They do have the ball, but they just can't find the necessary spaces to create soccer. Great work by the defensive line of uh, New Oslo Boys as I... They make the first substitution of the game, Kuki Silvani, to be replaced. Gallardo. Very predictable, though. Huh? Nice idea, but way too predictable. Rosada, Rosales, Patiño. Pereira. The crowd getting a bit impatient. Adinolfi. Virviescas. Sabata. Ludueña. Ludueña, one, two. Gallardo, Ludueña. It was Cabinagi trying the one, two. The give and go. And now we do have the substitution. It is uh, Kuki Silvani, number 17. Villar, ex River Plate, Kuki Silvani. Very slowly, of course. Uh, there's no rush. 20 minutes left in the game, up to nil. Gallardo. Adinolfi. Pereira, Gallardo. Back to Pereira. Virviescas. Zapata looking for Cabenay. El Patrón Bermúdez. Something wrong with uh, Marcelo Gallardo's right foot. Diego Villar. Rosales brought down. Just walk it off. Just walk it off. Zapata. Ludueña. Ooh. Looking for Marcelo Salas. Ah. Maybe he could just uh, go to the sidelines to let the coach know what's going on. Very uncomfortable, Gallardo, touching his right knee. Remember, though, they already made the three allowed substitutions. There he, there he goes. 
Patiño. Mules don't care. They have the ball. They're looking for goal number three, Chilena. The Colombian with a Chilena. You know, he doesn't get uh, really involved uh, much in the game, but the few touches he gets is pretty exciting to watch that's a nice pass from uh, Villar hey, he used to be a goalkeeper guy in the back you can see it on his face the way he feels and he's not very happy the debut that you dream of on your way back to the team. News go almost an own goal. Franco Constanzo on the ground. Tula. It would have been all over if Tula is not able to clear that ball that was going in it would have been goal number three once again the Colombian Vasquez a few of the defenders will be having nightmares tonight and Vasquez is going to be in all of them he doesn't look like he is uh, totally Comfortable Marcelo Gallardo. That would be the biggest blow to River Plate. Rosales. Marcelo Salas. Salas. Ludueña. Guiñazú. Guiñazú on the left. Guiñazú with the cross. Rosales. Ladies and gentlemen, this is New Orleans United. That was uh, goal number three, but Franco Constanzo making the save of the game so far. I believe River Plate are down to 10 players. Marcelo Gallardo. Not able to continue. <laughs> you can see the expression on the face of El Muñeco Gallardo. Jesuit La Peniche. He might be thinking in French. But he's not happy, that's for sure. Pereira in the midfield. Salas is going to have to be Gallardo and Salas. For River Plate to have a chance to get something in this game. No. If it is the ligaments. That would be very bad news for River Plate after Pellegrini made the first substitution. Marcelo Gallardo, who came on as one of the replacements in the second half, gets oh, injured right there. Not the first one, but the second time. That, oh, that took his ankle off and hurt the right knee of the very talented Muñeco. Number seven, Rosales. Rosales, one, two. Looking for Vasquez.
Zapata on the left. One on one with Rosada, Ludueña. Ludueña inside the box, the cut. Zapata, Salas, Salas. Too slow, Chileno. Zapata did not have the guts to take it. Right there, he could have, but he gave the pass. Oh, that was offside. Let's not even talk about this. It's offside. Palos. A player on the ground. He was uh, kicked on the face. He gets uh, medical attention immediately. Of course, they are going to try to kill off as much time as possible. So quickly we got uh, to the last quarter of an hour. River Plate lost a 3-0 to Estudiantes in the second round, but losing 2-0 at home. Five goals allowed in the last two games. And they haven't scored one. Gallardo won't be back. We were down to 10 players. Could have been nine if Vivas got sent off as he should have. Rosada, a lot of people leaving uh, the stadium. Very disappointed, of course, uh, not only with the performance, but the second consecutive defeat in three rounds. See, that's uh, what I'm talking about. People, they're going to miss the three goals by Weaver in the last five minutes of the game. Come back. Ludueña, Pereira. Ludueña, Zapata. Another foul. Verviescas. Foul. Vizcas are uh, on the left. Oof. Kavinagi, no foul. Rosales, number seven. Pedeira chasing Rosales. He was two against three. River getting the ball back in the midfield. Zapata. Rosada. Adinolfi for the first time he crosses the midfield in the second half. To do that, get back, man. Get back and don't ever cross the midfield again. Salas looking for the header. He finds Kabinagi. Devuelva la plata. Rosales. That came from the stands.
Tutsio in the back. Not enjoying the advantage, El Bambino Veira. Pereira, Ludueña. Vázquez, Rosales. Those two. Rosales. Those two picked the right day to have uh, one of the best performances in a long time. They know the game was going to be televised by Fox Sports all over the planet. Virviescas. Zapata. Pereira. Ludueña. Salas. Happiness is not around. Virviescas. Zapata. Zapata with the cross. Zapata again. Nutmeg. Kabinagi. And You don't necessarily have to go past any defender. In the contrary, you have to try to finish as fast and as quickly as possible once you get the ball inside the box. Hasn't been the case today for River Plate strikers. Kabenagi, Salas. Impossible to be happy. They have allowed uh, five goals in the past uh, two games. They're not scoring. They're not even scoring in practice. They're going to have to call uh, Marito Kempis back. El Betito Alonso, Francescoli, Second substitution of the game by. The visitors, Sebastián Dominguez, number six, a very clear message, a defender, def a defensive midfielder, to replace one of the best players huh, on the pitch, number seven, Rosales. Virviescas. No la regale. Manuel Pellegrini said that to Virviescas. Don't give the ball away. Salas. He does get uh, the corner kick. Ladies and gentlemen, we do get within the last uh, five minutes of the game from Estadio Monumental. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Ludueña will take uh, the corner kick. River down to nil. At home, Bermudez. Zapata. There he goes again. Tula on the right, Zapata on the left. Cabenagi chesting the ball down. This is the third consecutive game that Neil's getting. No goals allowed in the whole tournament. Great beginning for Los Leprosos in the Apertura 2003. Vázquez, Guiñazú. 
that was Adinolfi. Thinking, thinking he's Roberto Carlos for a second. Roberto Carlos, uh, Real Madrid's left side fullback, the player, and not, the, not Roberto Carlos, the Brazilian singer. You got a chance to see actually Roberto Carlos today in Fox Sports, Real Madrid playing Valencia. And a very good free kick he took. That was was not a goal. Well check, you know, check the listings and uh you can see that game once again in Fox Sports in the next uh, couple of days. We have a French football, English football, from Spain, La Liga, from Argentina, Dutch football. Your pick. Brazilian football, Jogo Bonito from Brazil. Samba, Caipirinha, Brigadeiro. We have uh, La Bundesliga. with a couple of Argentinian players uh, going to the Bundesliga this year. D'Alessandro, one of them, Mandraki. Eha! Zapata. Vivas. Ludueña, Vivas. Salas. Salas. Marcelito Matador. Don't even get the call from the ref. That was a foul, though. He has been one of the few players that in every team he has played, he has celebrated a championship. Universidad de Chile, River Plate, Lazio, Juventus. Though back in the day he had different teammates. Francesco, one of them. Muñeco, Crespo. Leo Astrada. It was a whole different River Plate. Cabenagui, Ludueña. Thank you so much for the only shot on goal of the last 20 minutes for a team that's uh, playing at home and down in the score. That is absolutely nothing. Palos. Time is up. 45th minute of the second half. From now on, it all depends on Mr. Gabriel Favalli. The man in the middle. We should have two or three minutes of added on time. Enough for uh, Newells to score goal number three. Three minutes of added on time. Could they do in three minutes what they haven't been able in nine minutes? I don't think so. Adinolfi. Adinolfi inside the box. Patiño. Ludueña. Giving the ball away to Niels. Hello. Wink, wink. Like the last thing he needed in the midfield, uh, Pereira to suffer 
the humiliation of the nutmeg. El caño, as they call it in Argentina. Tunnel, we call it in Chile. And you can, you know, wherever you come from, you give it your own name. Che Bambino, are you happy to get a victory in round number three of the season at Estadio Monumental? I'm sure you are. Talk about support, huh? talk about loyalty. They are going to make uh, the third and last substitution. Mules. See, we told you that Jorge Bermudez loves to come here to play River Plate. He is so used to winning in these Clásicos. Without a doubt, Vasquez number 11 being replaced by uh, one of the stars of the game, Julian Kimetz, number 20 to play a couple of minutes and get the money for the win. He would get the money anyway since he was on the bench. Kimmich. The ball was out of bounds, out of play. It is over. Gabriel Favale blows the final whistle. Mules all boys on the road defeated River Plate.